Debris in the line can scar the ball and seats of a test and drain valve causing the valve to leak. Instead of replacing the entire valve, AGF has a repair kit available to replace the ball and seats. This is a quick and easy procedure that doesn't require removing the valve from the line. Before starting, you'll need to drain the section of the system that you're working on. Start by closing the sectional control valve. After the section is isolated, open the test and drain valve to the drain position and drain the section completely. Once the section is drained, return the valve handle to the off position and remove the valve's adapter end by turning it counterclockwise. Remove and discard the upstream valve seat. Turn the valve handle to the test position and remove the ball. Remove and discard the downstream valve seat. You may need to use a tool such as a small tack puller to carefully pry the seat from the body. You may need to replace the adapter gasket as well. Refer to the instructions that came with the repair kit as this procedure differs depending on the valve size. Before inserting any new parts, make sure the valve is clean and free of debris. By hand, insert the new downstream seat flat side first. Insert the new ball with the keyway slot aligned with the stem. The orifice should be facing the valve outlet. Return the valve handle to the off position, locking the ball in place. Insert the new upstream valve seat concave side first. Thread the adapter end back on the test and drain valve and you're finished. can now return the sectional control valve to the open position and refill the section.